Glad to have you back with us. It's still in the game on New Central TV. And we're still focusing on how Africa performed right there in uh, Tokyo, Japan. And right now we've got a tennis legend, a table tennis legend, Funke Oshonaike, who has been inducted to become the first woman to be in the Club 7 for the IWTF. Good to have you with us, Funke Oshonaike. Hello. Hello, Nigerian. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been wonderful uh, watching you play table tennis for Nigeria. But let's talk about you at the Olympics. How did that make you, I mean, seven-time Olympian and being inducted into the Club 7? Wow. I mm -hmm. am still very, very excited. I waited very, very long time for, for it. I waited like five years. Normally, it was supposed to be four years. Yeah. I had to wait for five years because of COVID. <laughs> and I thought my dream was not coming true. But mm. Yeah, thank God that, okay, I got inducted, mm -hmm. I'm happy, I'm excited. In fact, I am still, I am still like, wow, every time I look at the picture, I look at the video, in fact, it gives me lots of joy and happiness. Mm. It's a great achieve achievement for you, Funke Oshanaiki, and we say congratulations to you. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> what would you say about the performance in general for the African countries? Yeah, for African countries, I think I'm very, 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 very happy. And I'm very, very proud of all the African countries. I never expected this. And look at it. We, we're all doing great. And coming mm -hmm. back to Nigeria, we did better than, than the last Olympic. I think the last Olympic, we could only manage to win, I think, bronze in football, you know. Yeah. But now we have fever, we have bronze. And that is a big improvement for, for us. Yeah. Unfortunately, we could have... We could have done better, mm. but something happened, you know, which is fraud. You know, I expected even something from um, my girl or do too, but you know, sports, you can never tell. But mm -hmm. in all, in all, I am proud, you know, that we could get a silver and, and bronze for Nigeria. And I'm proud that every other country won gold or silver or bronze for, for their country. Mm. It has been a good Olympic, just for me to say that. Very true. You talked about Odwayo. I mean, uh, we saw the laps that she had in her uh, wrestling event. And uh, I could tell your pain on the WhatsApp group that you actually aired your opinion because you are not happy with that. Would you blame it on um, technicality or the fact that um, she was not as good in, uh, she was not as good as her opponent? No. Odwayo is the world champion. But don't forget, that is the other side of sport. Mm -hmm. You know, something just happened, you just, you know, you just lose it. And after losing it, you keep asking yourself, what happened? You mm -hmm. know, you, you, you start telling God, please let them call me back so that I can start all over again. Yeah. That is the bad side of sport. Mm -hmm. You know, I understand that. My heart wept for her i felt so sad because it has happened to me before i have lost to somebody that you know don't i know my circumstances i will beat her for zero after the match i was just like okay what happened to you you mm. lost concentration you know something just snapped at me and i just lost it if you could see she was leading eight zero to eight two and boom it just happened. That is the bad side of life. And I know she's going to come over it. And mm -hmm. I know she's going to come stronger because I know who she is. She's, she's strong. She's a believer in God. And mm -hmm. I know that this one, something wonderful is still going to happen to her in life. I'm so sorry for her. It's not so bad, mm -hmm. you know. But unfortunately, that is the other side of sport. I know I don't like it to I don't like anybody to witness anything like that. But it happens to almost all of us. You mm -hmm. can see some world champion in tennis, in long tennis, in other sports, losing at the first round. So mm -hmm. that is sport. And it's so unfortunate that it has to happen to or do I your mm. very true. Now I mean uh we saw Ese Brume, one of the medalists for team Nigeria. Yeah. Uh great performance I must say from uh, SA as well. And she said something during her, her interview. She said her, she and her coach had to travel uh, to get better facilities to train with outside the country. But it brought my mind back to something. Is it that we don't have the facilities that can help us train these youngsters? Yeah, we don't have, mm. to say the fact. We, we all can see it in Nigeria. We don't even have the... We have some. Sometimes when we have it, 
then it comes to maintenance, you know, and the people that are supposed to take care of it, mm. they, will, they will do it anyhow, you know. So, yes, we need it. And most of the time when I think about it, I'm just thinking about that. What can I do, you know, to bring my Germany back to Nigeria? Because I can see the way they do it. And I'm talking about table tennis. Mm. A lot of things is wrong, you know. But for course, should I cannot do it alone. I have a lot of things I know that can actually bring up, you know, the athletes more. We have lots of talent in Nigeria, but we lack good facilities, good equipment. If we cannot have that in Nigeria, it's going to be continue to be hard for a lot of talent in Nigeria. That is why you see what is happening in Nigeria now. We, we, we normally bring people that live abroad to come and represent us, you know. Mm. You know why it's like that? Because they're, they're in Europe or in America, they have better good facilities. But in Nigeria, we're still lacking behind. But I just hope that one day we're gonna have we're gonna have everything, all that we all that we needed to make you know sport and the talent greater again in Nigeria. Mm. And still talking about that now. I mean, does this also lead to the fact that we we'll keep on losing some of these youngsters to other countries? Because just in this Olympics, I saw a lot of Nigerian names representing other countries. Does this still boil down to the fact that we're not keeping these uh, talents and we're not grooming them enough from the grassroots level? <laughs> No, don't forget, Nigerians, we, I think we have about 200 million people in Nigeria. So automatically, everybody is not going to represent mm -hmm. Nigeria. Some people will go, some people will remain. But I just hope that the ones remaining, we should be able to give them good facility, good mm -hmm. equipment, good coaches, you know, to train them. You understand? If we can do that, believe me, honestly, we'll get back to the way it used to be before. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, it used to be very, very good. And I just hope that we can get back there again. But without this, we won't pray from now, from now to eternity. If we don't do the right thing, I think it will just remain like that. Mm. It, will, it will. And I just hope that, yes, yeah, something, something can just change. Uh, uh, yeah, I think right now that, that Olympic is over and the, some of the administrators, some of the people in charge, they might have learned one or two things mm. to improve, you know. If, if we cannot improve... I think it will continue like this. And I just, I, 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 I hope not, you know. I'm a strong believer of Nigeria. I love my country so much. Mm. And I just want everything to work well for, for, for Nigeria. But I just hope that we can all sit tight right now and believe that, you know, with hard work, with thinking right, we can bring that thought to the way it should, you know, we want to be. We have mm -hmm. talent. We have sure. everything we need in Nigeria. We just need good people to take care of it. Yeah, you're very, very correct. I'm talking about good people. You're one of the few people that have been supporting Nigeria uh, through and through in all sports, not just table tennis now. But we've heard rumors that this would have just been your last Olympics, that you would have will retire after the Games. I would love you, love you to tell us, is this your last Olympics or are we still going to see Funke Oshanaike at the next Olympics? And what does the future <laughs> actually hold for you and the young stars in the country? Oh, it is. I've already achieved my dream. I don't think there's anything that I want to achieve again. It's rather, of, of, um, it's rather unfortunate that I've not been able to win a medal in table tennis. But thank God I got this award. This award that, okay, let other people be following me. A lot of people, too, a lot of athletes have not been able to get this award that I, mm -hmm. I got. So I'm still very proud of, my, of myself. As you know, table tennis is dominated sport by the Asians, you know? So I'm still proud that even the Asians, let them come, let them be following me to get this award. So talking about stopping, hey, that's okay. Yeah, that's enough for Olympics. I'm okay, I'm happy. My dream has come true. I got to move, I'm going to move ahead now. I got to think of something else to do with my life. Now I'm talking about Olympics. Okay. It's okay with Olympic and the length Olympics may be according to what I told people. It's not far from, from me. I live in Hamburg. It's gonna be in Paris. Maybe I'm just gonna go there as as, a, as an official, God okay. willing, or as a spectator. Oh, come on, we'd love to see you play as an athlete <laughs> and hopefully you get to win a medal. It just might be your chance <laughs> to win a medal in that uh, Olympics Paris 2024. No, I'm, I'm praying that a Nigeria, a Nigerian mm. woman, woman will just get better than me at the next Olympics, not me. So mm. my dream is that we should have another better Funke or Shonaike. 
to mm. participate, to qualify, because the qualification is very, very hard. It's yeah. not something that they will just pick you from Nigeria, okay, go to Olympics, you know? You must qualify. I just hope that there's going to be another better Funka or Shonaiki, mm -hmm. you know, that will qualify to go to Olympics 2023 and do better than me and the rest that have played in table tennis at the Olympics. That mm -hmm. is my dream. And we need to start right away, right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen you host a couple of uh, um, tournaments uh, for grassroots in Nigeria. I happen to have attended some of them. And we've seen great tennis players, the youngsters. We keep talking about grassroots, that this is where we get to harness talent that eventually become great tennis players, great sportsmen and women. What is Funke Oshonaki going to do? Because it looks like she's leaving that uh, podium. And uh, we're looking forward to the next Funke Oshonaki. But what are you doing to ensure that that will happen in uh, a couple of years' time? Yeah, Funke Oshonaike is not going to give up on all the talent in Nigeria. Mm. You know, I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'll have to continue to do my bit. Uh, you know, some of the problems all this talent has got is equipment too. Some of them, you know, they are not so buoyant enough to buy equipment. So I'm still going to be begging people on their behalf to help us, you know, because without good equipment, you cannot mm. do you cannot do nothing. So mm. I will continue with my foundation. I will continue with giving out to, you know, to the talents in Nigeria, encouraging them, motivating them, talking to them. And that is why I'm, I'm still trying right now. I'm still in, in the team right now so that I can carry them along, you know, for just a few months before I totally retired from international <laughs> competition. Yeah. That is, I'm, what I'm doing right now is not for me, it's just for them to mm -hmm. talk to them, to be closer to them, to, for them to see me, you understand? For me to do lots of things for them. I love them so much and I can't wait to give back. You understand all my experiences, everything I've learned in my life for the next generation, yeah. the next better, don't forget, better Funke Oshonaike. Mm. Thank you very much, Funke Oshonaike. The first woman to be inducted into the ITTF Club 7. I must say, you've been very, very wonderful. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. And thanks to all my loved ones, my fans. I really appreciate you all. Funke is nothing without you. Thank exactly. you all. Thank you very much. And we love you too. And uh, please continue I to stay safe you. out Thank there. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And that was Funke Oshanaike, the first woman to be inducted into Club 7 of the IWTF. A great tennis player, I must say. And uh, this is her seventh Olympics. And she said she just might not be at the next Olympic, but you never can tell. We can actually convince her to make it to the next Olympics.